Yeah. You know I love to see you shine that light. Uh, I put that love in every rhyme I write. You and I, we ride side by side. So keep shining, y'all. Keep shining. Yeah. You know I love to see you shine that light. Yeah. Even when you gotta fight those fights. It's like that struggle make you twice as bright. So keep shining, my dude. Keep shining. Come on. Yeah, I learned a long time ago how it happens when you get it cracking. That's when cats start attacking. Video Lip flapping. For anyone out there that really wants to make a difference in their life, that wants to change, but they don't really know how to go about doing it. Only thing I can do is give you what I've been using to try and help myself, which is the detox. I use 14 day watermelon and berry detox to try and get myself back on track. What I did was first, before I even did the detox, I switched my diet. I switched any, all the stuff that I used to eat, all the processed foods, fast foods, the soda, candy, chips, all of that type of stuff. I cut it out completely and I started to eat whole food. I used, uh, I ate vegetables I, and I used fish and chicken in the beginning of my journey to help me do that. I lost a significant amount of pounds doing that. I lost, in fact, that was 219 pounds. I ended up going to 200 pounds just by eliminating that and drinking more water. From there, I went to the 14-day detox, which I, I ate mostly watermelon and berries for 14 days, but I also ate other fresh fruit. I didn't eat any bananas or nothing like that. The majority of the fruits that I ate was water-based. Well, honestly, all of the fruits that I ate was uh, high water content foods. Um, I did that for 14 days and I went from 200 to 184, I believe it was. But I had already started the process. The whole thing is you got to make up in your mind what you want. You got to be sure of what you want to do. It's a mental thing. You're going to see people eating all kinds of stuff. You're going to see all types of things going on. People are going to try to convince you not to do it and tell you they come up with anything because they don't want to change. So you have to make up in your mind that you really want to change. That's that's the main thing. And the second thing is you got to stick to it. You got to discipline yourself. It takes a lot of discipline to do that. You got to di really discipline yourself because, like I said, you're going to have people in your ear. You're not going to have that support that you need all the time. You may get some support from a few people, but it's not easy. You really got to stick to your game plan if that's what you want to do. Um, I would suggest not going out with people, you know, all the social stuff. Take some time to yourself to get to know yourself. Learn meditation. Learn to sit alone and breathe. You know, you need that. Detox yourself from social media or whatever. Though I was lucky enough to find a group that was... Uh, like-minded you know they were doing the same thing and i always shot bobby smith out for the watermelon thing i definitely got a shot g brian out because he's the one that gave me the fruit uh detox idea um there's a lot of youtube people i can shout out bricks i can shout him out for his motivation um yeah i, I really just want to get on and say that to you guys be serious about it treat yourself with love that's all it really is, is you're treating yourself with love. It's, you're not feeding yourself poison anymore. Because basically that's what you were eating. If you read any of the ingredients on this processed stuff, it's poison. Half of the stuff that we eat is banned in other countries. So think about that. Do some research. You're eating stuff that you can't even name in the ingredients. Think about that. You know? <laughs> So I really just wanted to get on and say that to people. Stick to it. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Right now, I'm, I'm at 181 pounds. I've lost a significant amount of pounds, and I'm going to keep this thing going. I'm on a healthier lifestyle now, healthy path, and I'm sticking with it. Stick with it. Don't get on and quit. Don't get on and quit. Stick with the plan. If you're worried about friends, trust me. Your tribe will come. They will appear. You will find people that wants better, that wants to be healthy, that wants to be in shape, that wants a clear mind. 
So it's a spiritual journey, it's a physical journey, it's a mental journey. Stick with it, you can do it. Love life, live love. That's the motto. Rock, peace. Uh, by the way, we got a, a thing going on here where I'm trying to get uh, many people as I possibly can that wants to come together as a community and do this thing. We call ourselves 364 Circle Elite. I have a few people that's that's down with this so far. We meet up, we walk our five miles. Find you a clique, find you a group that wants to do something better with themselves. You know, don't keep doing the same thing and expecting different results. It's not going to happen. That's the same. So think about it. And uh, now, love life, live love. Models. Peace.